Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Nick and this is Sarah and with our two little dogs, we're usually traveling around Europe in our 32 year old camper van. We've just spent the last four months exploring the UK, but now it's time for us to head south to warmer climates. We got as far as the Pyrenees before we had an issue with our camper van, which left us stranded in Catalonia for almost a month while we waited for the park to arrive. Join us in today's vlog as we continue our journey south exploring the east coast of Spain where things are starting to heat up. Hey guys, welcome back. How's it going? Yeah, what you been up to? I'll tell you what we've been up to. We've been exploring this, this coastline. Look at this, top off. Can you believe it? It's March, top off. Yesterday we had 29 degrees. It was hot. Yeah, it's changed a little bit since the storm we had a, a few days ago. Oh dear. The storm hit. Nick and I decided to go for a walk down to the end of the beach where all the action is. On the way back, the storm hit. Big forks of lightning. We were absolutely drenched. Luckily, we left the dogs here. <sighs> absolutely drenched. All right, let's get the diesel heater on. And we've done a little bit of driving. We've driven past the city of Valencia and we've explored somewhat the built upness if that's the word um, of this coastline and now we're just at the northern end of the Costa Blanca just outside Denier what are you doing with the door shut oh gosh how warm is it what a difference a few days makes honestly guys it's like 25 degrees and it's only about 10 o'clock in the morning crazy <laughs> all of these winter clothes they need to go yeah we had quite a quiet night's sleep here in this little like end of the road turnaround point but it did take us quite a while to find somewhere like quiet to spend the night um, all of the park for nights on this coast, you, you arrive there and it's just full of motorhomes. In fact, there was a park for night like two streets on, similar to this, but two streets on, six or seven motorhomes there. So we just use park for night as a guide and then kind of find our own spots. Um, otherwise, you're just like crammed in like sardines. Yeah, believe it or not, this where we are now is the least built up area we found. We, yeah, but... we knew this, this coast was going to be built up and sort of how it is, but we didn't know to what extent. But hey ho, um, we're going to continue sort of south along the coast today and see how we get on. We're not ready for this heat. Don't get me wrong, we are enjoying it, but we're just not ready after spending the last six months up north mm. in, in kind of colder climates. One thing I'm loving, though, I have to say, is waking up to the sound of the waves. Yes, it's very nice. It feels so long since we've done that. <laughs> And we're looking for somewhere to park up basically, which is not an easy task. Already took one wrong turning. In 500 um, how's it going driver? Well, wow, some very windy roads and very steep hills, so don't really want to be taking wrong turns. <laughs> but, which we just did. We'll do it. Vinny can, Vinny's a trooper, the brakes are working and he's a little tank, so I'm not worried. Ah. 
We have arrived. We got pretty much the last spot in this car park. Uh, there's a bottom car park with cars and up here seems to be all vans and motorhomes. It's like a little free campsite, which is cool. Um, yeah, right next to the beach, five minutes walk. And you can kind of see why people come here when you go and take a look down on the beach. It's pretty stunning. Yep, the sea looks incredible. Crystal clear waters, bright blue. You've got an amazing view down to Altia up one coast which looks quite low key to be fair and then down the other coast you look towards Calpe with like huge cliffs the beach isn't a sandy beach but the pebbles very smooth it just it just looks stunning definitely can see why people um come here and it's so popular it's always the same isn't it when it's built up when it's touristy there's a reason for that but it's funny because as you can see behind me there's a five-star hotel and then you've got all these vans parked there's like a a row of vans parked right in front of the hotel it's got everything you need here well not quite everything hasn't got showers hasn't got toilets but you've got the sea and you've got so many water fill ups little taps little fountains like this one yeah there's several parking spots it's where we're here parked which is like a mini campsite there's another one a little bit close to the beach which has got height restrictions and then there's that row right in front of the five star hotel um, and it's very busy, very, very busy. People are going to the beach, but it's beautiful. There's restaurants, there's a nice little walkway along the back of the beach. There's like a little park area, it's beautiful. So guys, didn't expect this sort of park up on the Costa Blanca. I know, <laughs> like free camping site. I think there'll be like no uh, overnight stays up pretty yeah. soon in this area. But anyways, guys, we thought we would just say about how good this van, our little old van has been running mm. since we had the brake servo fitted. In fact, the brake servo has obviously been the only issue since coming all the way from the UK. Yeah, he's been good, our van. Like we do get a little bit protective over him. He is part of the family. And when we do get a few comments saying, isn't it time? you got it's a new time. van get it's rid of Vinny time. one thing after another but to be fair we've had him for six years and up until the last six months it's been ge just general wear and tear really isn't it yeah no issues whatsoever mm. it's taken us all over Europe so I know yeah we have just had the brake serve and we did have the axle no, no, no. have to change and you know we are actively keeping an eye open for upgrading the van but you know it's not that easy is it it's yeah. not as easy as just going to get a new van yeah when you say when people have said oh just get yourself a new van what, what do you actually mean by that do you mean by just going to buy a, you know a brand new van for like 60,000 thousand euros or pounds yeah. like that's that's more than the value of that we bought our house for yeah so um it's a lot of lot of investment and, and that. that's what you're sort of paying for a mm. newish van or one that's a couple of years old yeah a fiat ducato with, with coach bill coach they're, coach they're coach not bill. they're not cheap are they so Very when expensive. when vinny's running obviously yeah it's a bit frustrating when it seems to be one thing after the other mm. um we have been looking and we've also contacted a company here in spain that uh, does all the technical um, paperwork legalizes for doing a, for doing a self build and um, to, actually, to actually do it it's going to cost 400 between 400 and 700 euros for the paperwork mm. and uh, so it's something we are actually looking into that's not as much as I thought it'd be I thought it'd be no. a lot more complicated um, to to do your self build out in Spain. in Spain obviously it's difficult to get the parts and get all the you know bits and bobs in the UK I think it'd be a lot easier yeah and uh, it's not just that as well you need to have somewhere to be able to mm. to build the van you know you can't just do really do a self build in the street can you you need like a driveway workshop or, or a something. workshop or something like that but we are looking into we all are the thinking options. about and you need it. all the tools mm. you know can you imagine though imagine guys the explorer is doing a self build and then, and then, or you could get like a second-hand van, but most second-hand vans are, it's hard to get second-hand mm. vehicles in Spain, actually. And the second-hand vehicles we like are... Retro. Retro, so they're actually Vinny's age or older. <laughs> but then, to be fair, any any second-hand vehicle you buy is a risk. You know, it's better the, better the devil you know than the one you don't. Yeah, like and that. I said to Nick, you know, we keep putting all these new parts in Vinny, soon he's actually going to be a new van. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's where we're at. So, you know, thanks for your concerns mm. about us buying a new van. If you have messaged and said that, we are keeping our eyes open. We know we're going to need to upgrade soon. Um, but for now, and hopefully we're going to pass our vehicle inspection, which is coming up. We're just going to see how we go this year, basically. See how we go. But we are constantly, like the search for land, the search for vans the same. It's, you know, it's an ongoing thing. So we are looking into it wherever we go. Yeah. But we're not rushing out because we have a house, so we don't need to buy land, and, and we have we a have van. van. Yeah, that's okay at the moment. Touch wood. So we're just going with the flow, basically, aren't mm, we? Yeah. And hoping that nothing else on the van breaks. <laughs> Hey guys, we just thought we'd come for a little cycle into Altia. It's only about three kilometers from where we're parked. Explore the local area. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Gosh, Somehow. look at this. The white pebbly beach and the sea just looks awesome. Yeah, isn't it? the sea's so calm. I mean, we're not prepared. We're really not prepared. We've just spent, you know, the winter in the UK. We've got loads of big jackets, blankets. We haven't got our sup boards. We're just not ready. Seven needs to get a bikini. I haven't even got a bikini. <laughs> So guys, I actually feel like I'm on holiday, <laughs> like proper holiday. That's how it feels, right? This place, first appearances, it looks kind of quite a market, doesn't it? It's not tacky yeah. at all. I don't know. It's like quite, quite posh, I feel. Looks very posh, very classy, a nice wide promenade lined with palm trees. It all just looks so well kept and pretty. It's not like a normal place that we would hang out, is it? Hence the never. reason. We've never actually been here, which is crazy when we've lived in Spain for like 20 years. We've never done this coast, no. which is nuts, isn't it? And that was the plan. We did want to do this coast, yeah. but um, we've run out of time now. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, this looks really nice. You've got Benidorm over the other side of the cliff in the distance, which is going to be high rise central. Whereas this looks quite... I mean, I'm saying low key from what we've seen so it far. It is low key, yeah. There's no high rises here. It's, well, this isn't high rise for no. this coast, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, it's all it's all very nice very and nice. busy, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not surprised with this weather. Oh, dead end. I knew it would be. Did you? Totally of Andalusia, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. Could be back home in the village, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. In our village, it looks like it. So guys, we've left the beachfront in the main strip and we've come into Altia Old Town, I presume. Yeah, and this just goes up and up and up, winding up the hill, little steps to climb up. It's more of a walking thing than a cycling mm. thing. Down all these little cobbled um, little lanes, this whitewashed village. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? It reminds us of Andalusia, all the whitewashed pueblos of Andalusia. It's absolutely stunning. And the Costa Blanca, you can see where it gets its name from, um, partly because of the whitewashed villages, like in Andalusia. Here. And then obviously the pebbly white sand beach and the pebbly beaches. Pebbly white sand beaches. And the white sand <laughs> beaches. And the white cliffs and apparently the white as cliffs, well. Yeah. So we've had our first taste of the Costa Blanca and I don't want to admit it, but I quite like it. It's not our usual cup of tea by a long shot and it is a bit busy and hectic. Yeah, the little winding streets, very, very pretty in the sea and everything in the drive here from where we were before over the mountains. You've got basically got quite nice jagged mountains dropping down to these little whitewashed villages and this stunning sea. Very, very nice. And we've got the big dog coming up, haven't we? Oh, you can see, well, from a viewpoint up there, you can see the, the skyscrapers of Benidorm on the horizon. It yeah. looks quite mad. Benidorm's going to be quite crazy. Obviously, mm. we've never, as I said before, we haven't seen this stretch of coastline, so it's going to be quite crazy, Benidorm. Heard a lot about it, seen a lot of pictures. You've seen the TV programme, we've heard about <laughs> it, the cabarets, the tackiness, all that. <laughs> but, um, but it, yeah, it looks interesting, you know, skyscrapers and then... Um, yeah, we've just been 
having a little look on um, Google Maps and Park for Night about, you know, for places to park in Benidorm and, and like stay for the night and stuff. Um, we are moving quite quickly at the moment, so we don't want to like check into a campsite mm. and do that sort of thing. We just want to go there for a few hours, like what we've done today, like park the van somewhere, go off cycling and then kind of get out. See, this wasn't our plan. The plan originally was on the, since we, after we left the UK, the plan was to drive through France quite quickly, maybe have a little explore the Pyrenees, go and check out some land briefly, and then spend like a month traveling down this coast, which we haven't seen before. Really looking forward to all that, and then things change. Things change. We were just stranded basically, weren't we, in Catalonia mm. waiting for that part, and obviously with Nick's um, um, health issue there. And now we literally have about four or five days to explore mm. this coast rather than the month because we've got the Itayuve coming up. Uh, the new thing as well is now that Nick has to actually see a doctor again. Yeah, he's not, a, you know, checked. he needs to get it checked. Even though it, the infection is gone, it still needs to be looked at. And the, the nurse said, you want to get it looked at within a, a, a within a week to make sure, you know. Yeah. So our, our month has turned into four days. A few days, yeah. <laughs> but we will, we definitely are going to come back here and explore this coastline. Yeah, for sure. Like on yeah. our way sort of north. Um, we want to see more now. We really mm. haven't got time to see much. Yes, it's not very van friendly, is it? But there is heaps of campsites, heaps of... It's like, a pay. cheap campsites, like 10, well, 15 euros with electric. Yeah. Which is quite reasonable. So you go and park up there, you've got all the facilities and then you can explore mm. everywhere properly, be on the bikes or whatever, so... Because um, for, for me, it's not all about finding that perfect park up. The van, Vinny, is a vessel to take us places. You can take, you know, us, the, the pooches and everything we need with us. You don't have to stay in these amazing spots, do you? Because it's not always possible. Anyway, what you got down there, darling? Ooh, looks nice, isn't it? <laughs> really spoiling me today. <laughs> This is just a tiny little rubbish starter, okay? You see that. We had, <laughs> we had one little rubbish stale roller, but I've, I've toasted it so it's not so rubbish anymore. And then we had half a tomato that you needed to use. So there you go, tomato on toast. You wait for main course because that's going to be something special. So everyone thinks I'm living the dream. <laughs> Nothing wrong. There's olive oil on it. Look, that's got, I just had a piece. It's nice. I'll have it then. Is that the best olive oil I'll in Catalonia? Mmm. Well, don't give it, give it here. <laughs> so we're basically having smoked tofu and chestnut pasta. Yummy. I mean, loads of garlics and onions. Something we haven't tried before, but I think this is going to be very, very nice. What are you doing? Thank you, Sally and Lawrence, for this little thing from India. We just got out this. We haven't put this up for a while. We haven't had the opportunity where we can have the awning out and have something up. But this is a necessity. When the sun's beating in, in through the door, the van gets really hot. So get this light throw up there and it cools it down. But where can we put this? A little bit of bunting. How cute is that? <laughs> that actually really goes in Vinny, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. As Looking if this good. van wasn't hippie enough. <laughs> <laughs> now the colours aren't great to be fair, all a bit the same. <laughs> but hopefully it should taste pretty good. Ooh, chestnuts and smoked tofu. I know it smells so good, doesn't it? Mm. Yummy. How was your chestnuts then, love? Oh, well, was your chestnuts? How was your chestnuts? Lovely. Look at those. It works, right? Mmm. Smoked tofu. I've missed it so much. Mmm, we haven't had much, have we, lately? And the chestnuts are really good. So much easier than going to northern Portugal in the right season, hunting through the forest to find chestnuts, peeling them, and then cooking them. So much easier. Buy them in a bag, ready to cook. Ready to eat. Alrighty. 
we are heading down the beach before it gets dark. Now we were thinking about sort of heading towards Benidorm today, but then it just kind of got late, didn't it? So I think we're going to just stay here the night. It's quite a nice little picture place, isn't it? It's nice and yeah, nice and relaxed and people are starting to leave now as well. Yeah. It's the end of the weekend, so obviously people, locals are going back home. Yeah, and I think to go to Benidorm, we need to be fresh. We need to get there early. I think it's going to be hectic. I was going to say that, we need our energy. <laughs> we definitely need our energy for better dogs. Yeah, look at those. Not a bad park up there. That is not a bad park. I mean, it, where we are is pretty good, but this is like right front to beach, isn't it? The beach is just yeah. literally here. I don't know if you can get away with parking up there in the summer. I don't know, maybe out of season, but in the summer it seems a bit like too good to be true, right? Yeah. Parking just there and nice little path down to the beach just beach there. Beach just here. Go on, Charlie. Go, 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 go. Let's go to the dog beach. Apparently, somewhere there's a dog beach, but we don't know where, or do we know where? Yeah, it's down that way. Right. <laughs> Here you go, boys. This isn't going to be as much fun. Pebbly Beach. But it's a beach nonetheless. And this is the dog friendly beach. It's got to be one of the most scenic dog beaches you're going to find. It's pretty nice. But what does it make sense is you're allowed to walk along this beach to get to this beach with your dogs. This means where they're allowed off the lead, right? Yeah. How else right. to get here? You have to walk from the beach to get here. You can't. No? The thing is, it's not much fun, is it? I mean, how's Charlie supposed to dig here? How are you supposed <laughs> to dig here, Charlie? There's seaweed down here. You can play with the seaweed. Look at that backdrop there. So that was a bit of a non-event. Boys aren't as excited as we were about coming to the dog beach. <laughs> They're not bothered at all. It's been a long day, isn't it? A long hot day. They're getting old, like us, my love. <laughs> they can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Good morning. And welcome to another day in paradise. Are we all ready for Benidorm? Oh, we're going to Benidorm today. Are we going to Benidorm today? We think we're going to Benidorm today. Basically, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's time for us to go home. Basically, yeah. yeah we, you know, we've been saying before we've got too much stuff in the van and blah blah blah. We're not suited, not ready for this. The summer and the nice I don't think weather. we need any excuses to go home. We've been living in this tiny little van for six months now and we do own a house, so I think we're allowed to go back to it. <laughs> it's been a challenge in six months as has well. It's been a very This trip. Yeah, this this last six months has been like, yeah, quite a few like stressy things happening and the stuff. The winter trip, six months to the UK, yeah. we've been stranded for probably two of those months. Yeah. And then well, I, think, I think just doing a winter up north in mm. this little van is hard enough as it is without having major issues so uh yeah we are ready but not before going to benedorm are we going to benedorm today we've got it it's just across there i've seen the skyscrapers i've always wanted to go for some weird reason to benedorm um just to see it yeah just yeah. to experience it so we're just going to get a taster today we're going to go get a little taster and then we are going to make quite a beeline sort of back to our house i think it's yeah. time and then we're going to come back again. 
Need it's to get my mojo back. Need to get my mojo back. Need a reset in my casa. Yeah. Well, you need to get this thing checked out. And as well, that as well, you? yeah. Nick still has to get a, a, see a doctor quite soon. Medical so. issues, issues with Vinny, the drone crashing. So much has happened. A lot of things months. have happened, haven't they, actually? Yeah, we do definitely need a reset. But um, anyway, not quite yet. Now let's go to Benidorm. Not like, not, not, not Nick and Art, not our usual. We were going to go for, an, uh, you know, a nice lunch in Altero. Altero. We were going to go for a nice lunch. No, we weren't. Love waking up, door open, sound of the waves, right on the beach. Oh, no, it's not the greatest beach. So they're in your little pink nighty.